So okay, everyone, welcome back uh, for the final talk today. Uh, so, uh, the students Kachas Navichus is going to tell us about why the analytic topology suffices for the beta round at Minecraft Mine. Uh, uh, thanks. Uh... <laughs> Uh, th thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for your introduction and thanks to the organizers for the invitation to, sp to speak here at, at the workshop. Uh, so I'll be speaking about the BDRAM plus uh, Afrin Grassmannian that uh, has been introduced uh, by Schultz into the Andy Hoche theory and the theory of park curve uh, and uh, <clears throat> how, how its definition can be made kind of simpler than uh, it initially appears. But to, to put that into context, let me actually begin by uh, reviewing what the situation is for the more classical uh, Grassmannian, uh, which is uh, not particularly Piadic, and then we'll switch to discussing the, the actual uh, Piadic uh, BDRAM plus Afrin Grassmannian. So uh, for this, let me uh, uh, discuss the Afrin Grassmannian uh, of, uh, well, often called the bavinson Drinfeld Afrin Grassmannian. Uh, it figures in there. Um, work on, on Langlands, although as far as I know, it was first considered in a paper of Lustig. Uh, so to, to give the pre precise setting, let me fix for now a ring, a base ring A. Uh, typically, well, often one takes complex numbers or some field. Uh, <clears throat> and let me fix uh, a reductive group. Uh, reductive group scheme uh, G. Uh, over A. Uh, so since, uh, let me uh, just be clear, let me uh, say that this is a smooth affine uh, A group scheme uh, whose geometric fibers are connected reductive groups whose geometric A fibers uh, are uh, reductive and uh, connected, uh, re okay, connected, reductive. Uh, all right, so uh, the affine Grassmannian of, of this G, uh, often taken to be GLN, for, for example, is, is built in terms of, uh, in terms of the loop group uh, of, of G. And the loop group uh, is a functor, the node, will denote by LG uh, from the category of A algebras uh, to the category of groups. A functor defined uh, simply by sending a variable A algebra B to uh, the values of this G on B double round brackets T uh, all around power series. Uh, with coefficients uh, with coefficients in B, and we evaluate uh, G, G on that, uh, and this has uh, kind of an important subgroup, positive uh, loop subgroup, uh, defined the same way, uh, but uh, where we don't allow denominators in T. So this is L, L plus G, uh, domain of definition still. Uh, Category of A algebras, and now we're evaluating on a formal power series with coefficients with coefficients in B. And T is a non-zero divisor, so uh, surely this is an inclusion. And so this is a subfunctor of uh, of the loop group functor. The Affin Grassmannian. Well, uh, okay. So uh, the Affin Grassmannian is then defined as a kind of a quotient of of these two functors. So first of all, uh, one certainly has a, a pre-shift quotient, uh, just uh, loops by positive loops, still on the category of A algebras. Now goes to the category of pointed sets. And uh, okay, so it, since we're just taking the evenly pre-shift quotient, it's nothing else but uh, that uh, set, uh, pointed set of sets uh, like so and the affine Grassmannian is the shiftification of this of this pre-shift quotient uh, say for the atal topology or uh, 
Well, the point is to make to make this quotient a geometric object, as uh, I'll discuss in a moment, to, to make it kind of uh, representable as much as much as it can be representable by uh, by uh, by schemes or by in schemes more uh, precisely. So the Afrangersmanian of G uh, is uh, denoted by G and its definition is just we take this three shift quotient and we shiftify it for the at out topology. Yeah, so this just denotes uh, at out shiftification. Uh, and we do that because we want uh, we want uh, nice uh, geometric properties, nice representability properties. So let me discuss those. If the Affengersmannian is representable, it, it better be uh, a sheaf uh, even for the FTQC topology, so surely for the Atal topology, that's kind of one of the minimal choices you could uh, you could think of. So, uh, well, okay, so the representability is as simplest for this positive rule group, where we just evaluate on B double square brackets T, no denominators in T allowed, because uh, if we consider the coordinate ring of G, and kind of uh, consider those uh, coefficients next to powers of t, uh, coefficients valued in b as kind of variables, then we see that this L plus g is then uh, itself an affine scheme, affine a scheme, typically of uh, uh, infinite dimension, uh, not, not, fine, not my type. Uh, Lg uh, is uh, no longer, no longer a, a scheme, but uh, is an in scheme. It's an in affine uh, a in scheme because if we uh, uh, if we fix uh, the cutoff for what uh, uh, kind of the, for 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 the how deep the denominators in T can go, then we get uh, the affine piece. And as we kind of uh, by similar considerations to here. And as we increase that bound, then uh, that's uh, these are the trans transitions, uh, closed immersions in the uh, in scheme uh, structure. Uh, even a kind of countably uh, in scheme somehow. And the Alpha and Grassmannian is also an in scheme, except it's no longer in defined, it's uh, in projective. Uh, a in scheme. Uh, and and well, uh, since I'm kind of working in this uh, general setting, the projectivity is at least uh, true if there exists a closed immersion uh, of uh, closed embedding of groups of G into some into some into some GLM, which is a question that's completely understood when such a thing exists. It just uh, depends on whether the maximal central torus of G is isotrivial over A or not. As is automatic uh, if A is normal, for example, or geometrically in branch material, or G is some simple anyway. So if uh, if G uh, is a closed subgroup of GLN, one first shows that uh, the Affengersmannian for GLN is in projective by considering kind of bounds of on, on lattices, uh, squeezing them between different denominators, and then on bootstraps to uh, to to an arbitrary reductive reductive G. But the reductivity of G uh, is is important for the projectivity to hold. It uh, not just that this is a closed merge. You don't have this small condition. It's still in the proper. Uh, yeah, it's. Uh, so you can take the schematic closure of local piece, some are local pieces. So zoom, you get something which is proper, and the tie locally on the forming locally when there is. So yeah, I mean, it is a, I don't doubt, to, like, let me just point out why this question is delicate is, of course, uh, the, the group becomes even split at all locally on the base. So you know that at all locally it's in projective. And then the, it becomes a question of kind of descent, but the descent not, descent for in schemes rather than for uh, uh, actual schemes. and. Uh, 
in short, I don't know the answer to your question, but uh, at least to show that it's an improper in algebraic space, perhaps that's uh, quite, that's, I think, uh, doable in general. Or, or by what you're suggesting, probably it's even improper without this assumption. Uh, okay, so uh, the, the result uh, that will motivate what, well, what I will discuss about the affine Grassmannian uh, con concerns this, this classical version. And, uh, and it says that actually uh, the atal topology is, is, is too much somehow. In fact, uh, the affine Grassmannian is already the Zariski shifification. Uh, of that same uh, pre-sheaf portion. Sure, we should fight for the atal topology to get uh, uh, to have a hope of getting something something representable, and then and then hence even an FPQC sheaf, actually a posteriori. But uh, in fact, we might have as well should fight for the risky topology and gotten the same uh, the same result. Uh, that's. What this is saying, and uh, so let me kind of try to give you some intuition of why this is not, I mean, why this is not like dramatically unexpected, perhaps. So, uh, which is by analogy. So, if uh, if P inside G is a parabolic subgroup, which is kind of a simpler situation. Here we have uh, we have LG, which is uh, well no longer a reductive group, of course, but inside it one has this L plus G, which is kind of like a parahoric subgroup, so parabolic in some sense in the suffering setting. This so the setting of L plus G inside LG is kind of analogous to the setting of P inside G. So anyway, it's, if one has this parabolic parabolic subgroup, uh, then uh, let me recall that the quotient G mod P which is actually a projective uh, projective A scheme, but was proved in this SG3, is actually uh, the Zariski shifification. I mean, if it's a projective scheme, it for sure is even F FEQC shift, but, uh, but uh, a post well, a posterior, it's a Zariski shifification of, uh, of the corresponding pre sheaf quotient Uh, of uh, just four sets, like so. And, and why is that? Well, because uh, this quotient uh, is, is a variety that parameterizes uh, parabolic subgroups of G of uh, the same type as P. And uh, one knows uh, from SG3 and from, uh, okay, from some results on unipotent subgroup that uh, parabolic subgroups uh, of the same type of a reductive group uh, they are conjugate to each other surely uh, over say algebraic closure of if one is working over, over, over a field but in fact they are conjugate they're even the risky locally on, on the base So sort of the uh, by, by by the sentence this this quotient represents these parabolic subgroups of the same type as, as P, but this general but this general statement which kind of uh, it involves studying unipotent radicals of P and the opposite parabolic and how they how they map into this G mod P, and that one of a certain map is an open version. Uh, that that result uh, from from uh, from SGA three tells that. Uh, any other par parabolic subgroup corresponding to a point here is in fact conjugate already to, to, to P, Zariski locally on the base, which then translates into the statement that uh, that, uh, that that point of G mod P comes from a point of G, Zariski locally uh, on the base. And so, okay, so this is just uh, some result that, that one knows. And this result about the affine Grassmannian is kind of analogous to, to, I mean, the proof is different, but but uh, but it's analogous because uh, one thinks that L plus of G inside L of G is uh, kind of similar to P inside 
P, P inside G, and that suggests that this kind of may be true. Okay, but uh, this uh, this theorem though uh, has also part B, which is perhaps uh, perhaps slightly more surprising, uh, and that's uh, and that's that the Safran Grassmannian is actually just just a pre shift quotient. So no shiftification is needed at all if, uh, uh, if for example, uh, G is split uh, or uh, more generally, so splitness is uh, far from optimal, more generally, uh, if uh, G has a, uh, has a proper parabolic subgroup uh, oh, okay. Uh, let me just finish writing. So, proper parabolic subgroup uh, Sariski locally on A. So, as long as it's not anisotropic, then this this is okay. And here, uh, by proper parabolic, I mean that a parabolic that uh, that meets uh, every factor somehow that meets uh, properly every factor, well, uh, G itself need not be composed into factors uh, based on components of the Dinkin diagram, but, uh, but uh, the adjoint quotient of it uh, surely does by general theory. And so uh, a parabolic corresponding to, of the adjoint group corresponding to this parabolic is supposed to meet every factor of this adjoint, adjoint group. But anyway, so if G, for example, is split, just GLN over, over C, that already is, uh, Kind of an interesting case that, that's saying that uh, to form the Safran Grassmannian, one can just form the pre shift quotient and no, not shiftify at all. One will know what the values on every A algebra B are. It's just, it's just that class of cosets. Uh, all right, so uh, let me just, uh, so I'll briefly indicate how this, how this result is, is proved. But before, uh, before I do that, let me just give uh, I don't know, but uh, but uh, I don't think so. No, actually, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I'm not 100%, but I think in a toy, in toy case, this part uh, fails in general. Whether, whether, this, uh, whether this statement about P and G kind of, could it be that this is also just a, just a pre-shift quotient, but uh, I think no. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's also related to uh, Lamb's conjecture about stable three modules over anyway, which it has counted on. But yeah, so that that so this is kind of surprising, uh, at, at, at least to me, because that uh, here there's risk education is really needed, and here and there is assumption that there's a parabolic somehow. One can make a general argument to to, to show that actually pre-shift quotient suffices. Uh, okay, so let me give an example, just a really toy example of A, so that we get a feeling of what is kind of going on. Uh, if A is a valuation ring, for example, then uh, this part A. Well, if a is a, I mean, if a is a valuation ring uh, with fraction field k, then the affine Grassmannian being in projective, it uh, certainly satisfies uh, the valuative criterion of properness. And so because we kind of now know what the values of it are on, uh, say, this, this valuation ring, we kind of get this uh, decomposition that every, K double round brackets T valued point of, of A can be lifted to an A double round brackets T valued point up to adjusting by uh, uh, by something which is, uh, uh, sorry, uh, not like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, so every K double round brackets valued uh, point of G can be, can be made uh, 
uh, to have coefficients coefficients in A up to adjusting by something that uh, that has no denominators in T. And just as a very, very baby case, uh, if G is GM, then uh, this is uh, KT cross, and that's T, T to the Z times uh, times the units in the, in the ring of integers, uh, and these lines here, and this, and this is precise of that. So this, uh, okay, uh, of course, uh, this is not, I mean, this is just the simplest case, but uh, one can show this for, for any, uh, for any reductive group, and uh, well, I mean, I'm sure one can show this directly without using A, but in particular by using relative criteria properness, that's the kind of thing that one that one is dealing with in this part in this part A. Uh, okay, so let me. Uh, I will not really spend too much time on the proof of this and pass to the B drum plus situation instead, but let me just uh, indicate roughly what's going on in the argument to kind of. Uh, well, so that we have some context for how this compares to the B drum plus situation. So, uh, roughly, uh, first, one reduces one reduces uh, this statement of the theorem to studying uh, torsors, to studying G torsors, and to do that, uh, one shows. Uh, one shows that the affine Grassmannian has a modular interpretation, uh, which is as follows. Uh, okay, so the affine Grassmannian was uh, was a functor on on the category of A algebra B, and uh, yeah, there was that shiftification. But if we kind of think cleverly in terms of descent about what that shiftification does, then uh, we realize that uh, this this A algebra B is sent into is sent to into isomorphism uh, uh, set of isomorphism classes of pairs where script E is a G torsor over B double square brackets T and tau is uh, is its trivialization. Well, okay, well, it's a trivialization. Uh, of E after inverting T, so over B double round brackets T. Okay, and uh, to isomorphism, although that's really a kind of minor thing because this tau kind of rigidifies the situation. And inside here, uh, we surely have the pre shift quotient just as a subfunctor. So that's a, uh, the pre shift quotient. And that's because we can look at those pairs in which uh, in which the torsor E is trivial but not trivialized. So this is this free shift quotient is just a subfunctor uh, of those uh, E tau in in which E is trivial. Uh, okay, so 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 just in terms of this modular interpretation, one kind of realizes what one needs to prove uh, that, uh, namely that whenever one has a G torsor or B double square brackets T that becomes trivial after inverting T, then one needs to show that it's already trivial, so that it lies in this pre shift quotient. Uh, so once one has this modular interpretation, and so for this, one somehow passes to studying torsors over over projective line. So uh, the second kind of uh, stage of the proof is to reduce to studying uh, G torsors over uh, P, over P one uh, by by Bouvelaslo gluing by viewing B double square brackets uh, T as a formal completion of this P one along uh, along the origin uh, and. Uh, Okay, uh, so somehow this uh, corresponds to, if one thinks in terms of more modular uh, terms, then one descends uh, kind of the problem along along this Bouvelasco uniformization map uh, from uh, from the Afrin Gassmannian uh, to Bungie stack, which parameterizes torsors over, over P1. Uh, Okay, and now uh, 
most of the work happens uh, in a third step to analyze these uh, G torsos over P1. And here, roughly, the strategy is to reduce to the case when B is, when B is just a field, a uh, familiar situation. So reduce to studying uh, G torsors uh, over P1 over a field. Yeah, so K is kind of one of the residue fields of, of, of B, a variable residue field. Uh, and uh, so for this, one first, uh, at least in, at least in in part in part B, one first needs to reduce to kind of local local B. So first, one uses kind of uh, uh, Quillen patching or Gaber uh, Quillen patching for G torsors. This is in a, in a kind of more delicate case B, uh, and this is at the expense of needing a slightly stronger statement in the local station, which is why it only works for B. Uh, uh, okay, so reduce uh, and then use to, to reduce to, to fields. One then uses uh, this open immersion uh, BG constant torsors inside bungee, and one uses uh, uh, Borel Pitts theorem, which is actually a theorem about. Uh, kind of unipotent matrices, and this uh, this theorem says that uh, every uh, every every element of the affine Grassmannian in in a valued in a field uh, is a product of unipotent matrices. Roughly, so uh, it's, a, it's a product of uh, unipotent matrices, and that. Uh, that this kind of fact lets one control gluing data in in a field case and then lift into the local ring case. That relevant gluing data to adjust the torso and then the openness kind of allows to bootstrap the conclusion to the local ring, and uh, the cover column patching to pass to 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 more global to more global B. Uh, okay, so that uh, is basically all I want to say about this proof. But let me uh, re re remark that. Uh, Yes, so this borel pitts theorem is actually, uh, this is a result for semi-simple, simply connected groups and uh, with, uh, with, a, with a parabolic subgroup. So I'm being a little sloppy here. But yeah. Uh, okay, so the proof as, as it's done in this uh, uh, and Drinfeld grassmannian situation is a bit, well, let me just point out, it's a bit difficult to adapt. Uh, uh, to other types of Grassmannians, to uh, other variants of the affine Grassmannian, yeah, of which there are there are plenty. Uh, every every couple of years, there's a new one. So, uh, there's a bit vector affine Grassmannian, or uh, one can consider Parahori groups, or uh, I mean, not even talking about the ones that haven't been defined yet. So, uh, <laughs> because because the argument uses uh, uh, the open this open immersion, yeah, which is kind of forces. Uh, well, because it's being open, this uses that uh, g is over g is over a. Yeah, g is defined over a, as opposed to. As opposed to over a double square brackets t or over p one. Yeah. So in this uh, piadic situation, of course, p one uh, has an analog of the Fark von Tain curve, and uh, but but it works a little bit differently because there's no there's no base. I mean, Fark von Tain curve and the base ring uh, interact differently than what. And how they do in the Spasco station, but uh, in fact, uh, okay. So the the, the Spasco station suggests what might might be true for the Bideram plus uh, Affin Grassmannian. And the fortunate part is that the argument in the Bideram plus case 
is actually simpler than than the classical case, and I'll discuss it. Uh, I'll discuss it now. So, uh, but to get there, let me just uh, give you the definitions and the settings. So, let me fix uh, now k to be a non-Archimedean local field. So either a uh, either a finite extension of QP or a P double double uh, double arm bracket T. Uh, yeah, non-Archimedean local field. It's a kind of coefficients that uh, get get used. Okay, is of course it's ring of integers. Uh, so previously we were considering uh, the test category of all A algebras B. Now the test category becomes uh, the category of perfectoid uh, perfectoid rings. More precisely, uh, the category of uh, Perfectoid uh, OK algebra uh, pairs A A plus over pairs uh, A A plus, and uh, for for any such, we of course have the, uh, the the constructions that we all know and and love. For example, if still. Which is not a perfectoid in, in in positive characteristic, and that tilt uh, has a pseudo informizer, which let me fix uh, for notation. Uh, in the... Right, right. It's not not like integral perfect. It's uh, yeah, Tate perfectoid analytic perfectoid rings. Uh, my flat. But they are over OK in the sense that either they are over K or over the residue field. So they could, AA plus could be of positive characteristic, but uh, yeah. Uh, OK, and so uh, we have this uh, Fontaine's uh, ring A inf, which is just the uh, width vectors of, of the tilt. Uh, and uh, in fact, we take the kind of K, OK typical, I mean, OK width vectors, the usual P typical vector, width vectors, tensor with uh, OK in a, in a mixed characteristic case and the kind of formal power series in a, uh, in the equal characteristic case uh, that has this map back to factor A plus, which is characterized by, well, which is surjective and characterized by Tyke Miller going to uh, the end tilt of the Tyke Miller compatible power system, I mean, P power roots of, of A. Uh, the kernel of uh, of this is a principal ideal. Yeah, uh, alternatively, we're just considering perfect prisms, uh, of course, but uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, principal ideal generated by a non zero divisor, uh, which I'll denote by xi as its customary. Uh, and so uh, now uh, we have the uh, Test category, which is these perfectoid uh, perfectoid uh, pairs, and uh, the analog of uh, of the rings a double square brackets t and and a double round brackets t are given by the well. These are kind of completions of P one along along uh, the origin, and uh, in this mixed characteristic setting, these are uh, the course kind of the completions of the far Fontaine curve along the. Uh, along a section that corresponds to like the A plus that one is considering. So, uh, more, well, more precisely, the analog of A double square bracket T is just a bit around plus, uh, which is, uh, yeah, it's, uh, one inverts this uh, Miller of the pseudo uniformizer, uh, and then sciatically completes uh, uh, this, and Vidram. Uh, so xi is still kind of a non-zero divisor here, and then to, to obtain with the RAM, one inverts uh, one inverts this side. For, for instance, if uh, if a plus is uh, is is just a perfected field, then then this is literally a discrete valuation ring, and this is its fraction field, uh, and uh, and as notation suggests, these do not depend on a plus, but uh, uh, but anyway, so 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 let me just uh, quickly run through the different 
uh, possibilities of, uh, of how A, A plus uh, can look like and, and K. So first, uh, if K is of, mi of mixed characteristic, if OK is of mixed characteristic, so K is of characteristic zero, and the perfectoid A is a K algebra, which is the most uh, sort of, which is probably the case that uh, is uh, most often kept in mind. Uh, so then this B the RAM plus of A and B the RAM of A, they are purely in characteristic zero as well. So they, they are K algebras. Yeah, because in those with vectors coefficients we have OK, it comes out that these are just, uh, just K algebras. Uh, okay, uh, on the other hand, uh, the sort of next case is if characteristic of K is, is still zero, but now A uh, is uh, a positive characteristic, so an algebra over, over the residue field, uh, OK modulo uh, pi K uh, algebra, then uh, B the RAM plus of A It's just uh, it's just uh, it's just these lit vectors, and nothing uh, more uh, is is uh, is is happening with vectors of of a rather than a plus, and uh, um, and b the ram of a is uh, with vectors with uh, with a uniformizer inverted or with invert. Uh, okay, and finally, the last case, the uh, positive characteristic case, if uh, characteristic of K is, uh, is, uh, is positive, uh, then, well, then OK is kind of, uh, well, it's isomorphic to a uh, formal power series in one variable, uh, formal power series over, uh, over a finite field, finite field K, uh, and B the RAM plus of A is then also just a formal power series ring uh, of the, I mean, the same kind of ring that appears in the usual Bayons on Rindfeld, uh, F and Grassmannian. Uh, yeah, so, uh, but let me be careful about its coordinates and write it like so to make the map theta a bit more apparent. And B the RAM of A is then. Uh, the same thing uh, uh, zeta like like this uniformizer that uh, minus pi k uh, yeah so uh, I mean uh, since a is itself an okay algebra it already has a pi k and now because we're deforming in the direction of this okay that's kind of the diff, you know, one acquires kind of a different uh, parameter, which is a, it's a bit confusing, but anyway, like the, it's just a formal power series thing and I've written it in this way to, uh, to, to make it uh, that uh, the map theta is just killing this ideal. <laughs> well, y yes, but like I want to distinguish them. Like, I mean, so, yeah, I don't know if this was a good idea, but like this uh, canonical way to write it, like let, let me just call it Z to, as well. Uh, and uh, okay, uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> uh, okay, so. Uh, so, so the affine, so this beta and plus uh, affine Graspanian will kind of interpolate between the usual Bayes and Rindfeld case and the with vector affine Graspanian case, and then the genuinely uh, beta uh, uh, case. And so uh, now we need to fix a group uh, for for coefficients. So we fix a reductive a reductive group uh, G over OK. Or uh, one can also consider a variant where G is uh, just uh, over K. Uh, and then one defines 
the loop group uh, as uh, the functor on this uh, perfected OK algebra pair say A plus, which sends this to just evaluating G on Lideram leader arm of A and the positive loop subgroup uh, L, L plus of G is, uh, is a subring where we evaluate on leader arm plus. Okay, and since Xi is a non-zero device and it's really a sub, uh, and so then uh, Schultz defines the Bideram plus Afrain Grassmannian as the justification of this corresponding uh, quotient. So the Bideram uh, plus Afrain Grassmannian and so uh, okay, I mean, I like here in, in this case, if G is just over K then one also restricts uh, to uh, one one restricts to those a plus that are also uh, over k so to this to this to this case one rather than considering the three cases to, to for us to make sense but anyway it's some minor point uh, okay so uh, the uh, the around plus half and Gaspanian uh, denoted by the G Bram plus is then uh, the shiftification, say for the atal topology, is the atal shiftification of this pre shift quotient LG mod L plus G. Uh, and in fact, a posteriori, then one shows that in fact it's even, uh, even a Vichy. And one shiftifies again to have uh, good representability properties and uh, in analogy with what happens in a, in a classical case and without the, uh, I mean, those, those representability properties were not so relevant for, for our discussion in a classical case and they will also not be so relevant in the speed round plus case. So actually, let me not uh, go into them. Yeah, but uh, it's, as you can imagine, it's, it's an in the in spatial, in spatial diamond and uh, Uh, which is also impartially proper. So one kind of has an analogous representability properties in this in this uh, in this piatta context. Uh, okay, so uh, the main the result that I'd like to talk about is the following. Uh, that that the Tausch justification is. Uh, is too strong one can one can get away with less so uh the speed ramp plus half and gasmanian is the justification of uh of the pre shift quotient lg model plus g uh, for uh, for the analytic topology. For the analytic topology on, well, on the test category, on the, on the, uh, on perfectoid. Uh, okay, algebra pair, say plus. Uh, okay, on, on the other hand, uh, yeah, we don't know if that stronger result about just being the pre-shift quotient under uh, isotropies, the assumption whether that holds or not, that that we don't know. But uh, uh, but at least this uh, Sariski 
or analytic uh, simplification thing uh, uh, is there. Okay, so let me uh, let me sketch the proof of this. Uh, And it is it is different than the proof in the in the in the classical case. So, but the first the first part is still to establish uh, the modular interpretation. Okay. So when. Uh, To, to relate to studying torsors. So uh, in fact, we have the Bitterrand plus affine Grassmannian is a functor which uh, to this category of these perfected pairs A plus assigns again uh, the category of pairs E tau uh, where E is a G torsor over Bitterrand uh, of A, Bitterrand plus of A and tau is uh, trivialization of E over uh, B drama. Okay. This morphs again. And uh, okay, so here again, one has the pre shift quotient LG model plus G. Uh, pre shift quotient. Yeah, and as before, is uh, this subfunctor parametrizes those e tau for which uh, e is trivial. Trivial, but not trivialized. And in fact, let me, uh, since this is a little bit delicate this modular interpretation uh, let me sketch how 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 one can how one can show this uh, I mean one can say one can see that there's something delicate going on because the topology for which uh, well okay so let me uh, for the main point is that for this one needs to show uh, that this formula that one writes down uh, this formula, star for the functor of points is a Vichy. So then even in the tau sheaf, I mean, it's really no more difficult, well, it's kind of no more difficult to establish either one of these. Uh, and, uh, and kind of the delicate point is that, that the V topology is some kind of analytic topology on, on reflected rings. Whereas here is a posterior one is really deal, dealing with algebraic torsors and not over that perfected, but over B plus plus uh, of A. And uh, well, okay, so uh, so what one what one has is uh, is a V cover. I mean, the, the main point is to is an illustration when one has a V cover uh, like so, whose uh, self fiber product is an A. A, a double prime, uh, and so this then gives uh, B deram plus uh, of A going to B deram plus uh, of A prime going to B deram plus of A double prime, just by factoriality, uh, and one has one has a pair E prime tau prime over here uh, plus equipped with a descent atom and one one needs to produce so one needs to produce uh, uh, its descent e tau over here yeah so uh, e descent Okay. Oh, uh, okay. Let me get the. Okay. So first, uh, if we reduce modulo psi 
then we just get uh, back to the to the situation of the uh, of the initial cover a goes to a prime and we can use the descent for uh, for vector bundles on perfectoid rings uh, to kind of get the desired candidate modulo xi so uh, one uses uh, the descent uh, for vector bundles uh, on perfectoids uh, together with the Tanakian formalism of torsors to pass from torsors uh, to vector bundles. Uh, to, to first build Uh, e zero uh, yeah e zero which is kind of uh, the desired e modulo modulo psi and this is over a plus now this uh, okay so uh, uh, in, in a classical setting, one of course does this modulo powers of modulo every power of, of xi, and, and the argument is the same. And here it's slightly different because, I mean, at, yeah, because uh, if one goes modulo higher powers of xi, these are no longer perfected rings, but kind of nilpotent thickenings of perfected rings. And and then uh, one needs, I mean, that V descent for vector bundles of perfecto, it's like, Formally, does not apply for those because those are just nil perfected rings and not and not perfectoid. I mean, there are several ways around, around this, but like one way is to then use deformation theory and and uh, uh, vanishing of the cohomology of of perfectoids. So deformation theory uh, plus vanishing. Of uh, uh, the cohomology of uh, perfectoids valued in vector bundles and the relative vector bundle is the uh, Lie algebra of G uh, twisted uh, by, by, by kissing twist. Uh, so kind of that same V descent, but in, in a drive sense somehow. Uh, uh, then uh, allows one to iterate, to iteratively build uh, EN, uh, which is uh, E modulo psi to the N plus one. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, right. Uh, yeah, I, okay, th thanks. I'm, I'm, in, I'm not sure how to incorporate this notation, but why? Yeah, a twist of this, but yeah. Uh, uh, okay, so uh, iterate will build these over uh, the run plus module upside to the n plus one. Uh, and then, then one algebraizes to a G torsor E over V drum plus. And for this, uh, one can use, uh, I mean, there are several ways to do it. One a very kind of simple way is to first lift E zero to, to, to a G torsor over V drum plus of A just E zero using invariance under hence alien pairs for G torsors, and then adjust the kind of uh, identification with the, with the E ends to, 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 to make it compatible using continuity as perhaps the least uh, complicated way. And then uh, finally one gets the tau uh, by using that this diagram, uh, this one, is an equalizer. Uh, and also at inverting sign. Uh, okay, so uh, anyway, this is just, uh, I mean, perhaps more carefully than really needed to, 
to, to, to, to establish this modular interpretation of the B drum plus Afrin Grassmannian. So what happens next? Uh, okay, so now let's really try to, uh, to, to, do, to, to do the argument that uh, we need to, to get uh, that the analytic topology suffices. So let's fix a pair E tau uh, over B drum plus A. Yeah, and uh, we have, uh, well, of course, so uh, in general, uh, because B drum plus is, is, uh, is complete with respect to Xi and E is smooth being a G torsor, then it will be, E will be trivial if and only if E restricted to, to A uh, viewed as, uh, you know, B drum plus modulo Xi. Uh, is trivial. And we need to show that this happens as a risk uh, analytic locally on, on, uh, on the base. So we need to show, on A rather, so we need to show that uh, for every X in the spa of A plus, uh, there is There is an open uh, open neighborhood. There is some open spa a a prime a prime plus in spa a plus. Such that uh, yeah, such that e restricted to a prime uh, is trivial. Yeah, so we, we wish to trivialize this uh, E uh, analytic locally on uh, uh, on A. Okay, so let's do that. Uh, for, for that, let's just consider all A prime, which are such neighborhoods of, of the fixed X. And see, and in fact, let's recall a very pleasant property of analytic attic spaces, which, is, which makes them in this regard a lot simpler than uh, what schemes are. Uh, that if one takes the limit over all these neighborhoods like that and just considers a structure sheaf, let's say uh, the integral structure sheaf, and then completes the, the limit, so kind of looks at the completed stock, then that's just nothing else than the valuation ring of the of the residue of the residue field at that at that point. And similarly, the residue field itself, which is uh, that valuation ring modulo pseudo uh, this pseudo uniformizer is kind of also then the completed limit of the non-integral structure sheep. Of course, complete in the sense that one first completes the integral thing and then uh, inverts the pi. Uh, and so this plus some algebraization and uh, approximation result uh, then shows that one also has that uh, if one takes categories of torsors, then that's again commutes to this kind of limit, uh, H1A prime G. And this is because, uh, okay, so these are the, this is by kind of general uh, algebraization and approximation results. In the style of Elkick. And uh, more precisely, this uh, soil kicks articles from 73, it perhaps doesn't quite capture the context that we need here, but uh, there are later uh, works, for instance, 
surely the case that's treated all in Gabo Romero as book is uh, sufficient or there are also very general such results in, uh, in my paper with, uh, with Boutier. Uh, okay, and so this kind of commutation of, of category of torsors or uh, sets of isomorphism class of torsors with these uh, with these completed limits like, like that uh, allows us to uh, reduce this as to showing that E restricted to uh, to uh, Kx is trivial to this uh, residue field. And for this, uh, it of course suffices to show that E restricted to B drum plus of this Kx is trivial. Okay, and now Kx is a field and B drum plus is a evaluation ring. Uh, and so, okay, so B drum plus uh, of Kx is a discrete relation ring. Uh, so then, uh, and we know that E restricted to uh, B, B the RAM of Kx is trivial. This is because of that realization tau, which goes along for uh, for right by functoriality. And so it suffices to, to use Grothendieck Serre conjecture to get the desired triviality. Grothendieck Serre conjecture is the following general uh, statement about torsors and their reductive groups over regular rings. Uh, okay, so it has, it says that if we have a reductive group uh, over a regular over a regular local ring, then no non-trivial uh, torsor over a regular local ring R, ah, no non-trivial, uh, let me still call it G, uh, no non-trivial G torsor over, over R trivializes over the fraction field. So if the torsor is trivial, the fraction field must be trivial. Okay, so this uh, is kind of, well, this is open in general, but this is known uh, in a DVR case. Known if R is a DVR. Due to, in fact, for complete DVR is due to Kitts, but kind of in general by Misnevich. Uh, and, uh, and then one just uses this to, to conclude and thus finish the, the proof, which is effectively kind of much simpler than what happened in the, in the algebraic case. Uh, stop that. Look at the definition, I guess. Uh -huh. So maybe so you get normal convergence shifts. Then I think that uh, you can also shiftify Perkovic that is this wide uh, finger neighbor is the same group. So uh -huh. so it's uh, it's not uh, it's and the, the technical points are when you use Gabriel Romero, so that we prove this for and for G, there was an extra well. Yes, so so simplifying the, assumption the, that there was the some, embeds in GLM is quasi projective. There was some, some assumption, but then it disappeared here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so in fact, I mean, this is all this kind of has less assumptions and it's more straightforward to apply. Anyway, but I'm sure your case suffices. Yeah, because well, it's essentially over a field, yeah. uh, over a zillion local, so you can, you can get. There are no questions. I want to make an announcement before we uh, thank the students again. So I think there are people in this room that are interested in the intersection of topology and number theory. So 
I would like to draw your attention to the number theory seminar today uh, at the university. It's on moments of quadratic L functions for finite fields that uses methods from algebraic topology. With that said, let's thank the speaker.